Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Flashing Lights. Today we are going to be working with the fire department. So I'll go ahead and leave all that by itself. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Sorry if you hear a strange thumping sound in the mic. That is the air hitting the mic and I'm not sure how I'm going to have to fix that. I'm probably going to have to go get one of those cloths to go over it. But yeah, you can probably hear my fan in the background. It's hot out right now. So I gotta get so I've got it going. Uh yeah. So we'll be working with the fire department. Uh, we'll be working in the ladder company. <clears throat> so yeah. Waiting for it to load. Um, uh, let's see. What was I going to think of? Can't remember what I was going to think of. Firefighter. I can't think of what I was going to say. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll eventually think of it. So we are getting close to finishing season one of flashing lights hey the trucks already out again as I say we are getting ready we, we are getting close to finishing season one of flashing lights uh, it's been awesome making this season this first season I hope you all have liked it uh, there will be more seasons I know that uh, But yeah, we still got a few more episodes left. Barn fire, that is new. Show ladder one and route to the barn fire. Watch it, buddy. Race for jaywalking. Or give you a ticket, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure how, how they do that. So, this is the first barn fire call off went on. So, this thing kind of churns a little awkwardly. If you turn it a certain way, it will it will act like it's going completely sideways. If I ever get it in a good straight stretch, I'll, you've all probably seen it, but yeah. Get to like and subscribe to my channel for more comments. Uh, I don't know why I said comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Content, not comments. Content. And also, uh, don't forget to turn on notifications. Yeah, I gotta work my driving. Okay, speed limit's 30. I'm going 32, 35, one of the speed limit. 
really? I know it's that direction. I'll just. Never mind. Okay. Coming through. Sorry for almost dating you. Apparently the those vehicles can't make up their mind. They don't know what they're going to do in life. So that's why they're just uh, going back and forth. Yeah, no. Not doing that. Not doing that. Not doing that. Back on the road. These trucks go just a little bit too fast. I think that could just be my driving. Yep, there's the thing where it just spins, or not spins, but slides. Alright, so I'm just going to go back out this direction. I'm not going to continue on the bumpy, wide, turning road, bumpy turning road. I'm just going to go this direction. Move it, coming through, big truck coming through. Thank you. Alright, so, I hate that gas station, and that one. So, we are almost on scene of the barn fire. I'm going to run out of water before I get it completely put out. Because there's only a thousand gallons on this truck. So it's just right up here and I pass the turn off. Well, the dirt turn off. The black top turn off's up here. Alright, so we'll be on scene for about 30 seconds. Move! Can't get through. Thank you. Alright, so that's the barn right over there. Go ahead and show ladder one on scene of the barn fire. It's gonna start slowly going crazy. Well, you know it didn't. Usually it does. But that may have been fixed, I don't know. Okay. Water hose. Or call fire hose, but anybody calls them whatever they want. Okay, so I'm already basically down to 800 gallons of water, and I've only got one fire put out. The lab truck's got as much water, uh, got just a little bit less water than my fire department's main engine's got. My fire department's main en engine's got 1,200 gallons of water on it. Alright, so that's two fires. Well, actually three. Right, can't even see anything. That's the uh, hazards of being a firefighter, especially fighting a fire. You can't see anything. Alright, I'm down to, uh, I'm getting close to 500 gallons of water. I know there's one fire right here. 
here. The other two fires, actually, I believe I've had, I have been on a farm fire. Deja vu. Real bad case of deja vu. Is it gonna let me, is it gonna let me in to fight the fire? Are you gonna let me in to fight the fire? Once I get this fire out, it should be easier to see the other fires. The well, after I get this one out, there will only be one fire left. All right, and it's right up there. All right, fires out. Roll the holes up, gather the crew, that's only me. Show ladder one, 98 scene, route back to station to refuel on water. I'm gonna turn right here. Nah, I don't care, I'm going through the dirt road. Oh, the dirt. Container fire. I can't take no more calls until I get my truck filled up. So I just do this. Put the truck 10 10 until I can get it filled up. Which that means it's busy. Or off duty. 10 6 means it's off duty. Well, not off duty, busy. Get my 10 coats mixed up. 1010's off duty, so the truck would be 1010, 10-6, off duty and busy. I hope I'm going the right direction. I think I am, yeah. So, we'll go ahead, instead of having to stop at a fire hydrant somewhere through town, we'll just stop at the headquarters of the station's fire hydrant, because it's got the fire hydrant there. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. That's usually where I'll stop at anyway. So, ah, gotta watch where I'm going, gotta watch where I'm going. Yeah, I need to slow down, I'm going 79 in a ladder truck. Which is physically impossible. If you get a lighter truck on 79 miles per hour, then you got some skills. <clears throat> you can barely get an engine go 50. Most engines in a tanker, uh, some departments call them tenders, but uh, a tanker is uh, also called a tender truck but a tanker the max speed on most tankers is about 30 and that's pushing it an engine depending on the size and how much water it holds uh, a thousand gallon engine truck uh, you're probably looking 35 40 at most a um, 500 gallon engine truck uh, you're looking about 50 45 40 to 45 I don't know why I said 50 then you've got your rescue trucks or brush trucks uh, brush trucks hold 75 to 250 uh, the max speed you can get those to go is about 40 I may be wrong I don't know but depending on like I said depending on the size of the vehicle depends on the speed and how much water it holds depends on 
uh, the speed it'll go. Every truck's made differently. Every truck's got different speed. A ladder truck that's hauling water, you might, depending on the size of the ladder truck, you've got quints, telesquirts, um, aerials, platforms, and towers, tillers. Tillers are a ladder truck that uh, has is basically a tractor trailer, a semi truck. You've got the tractor, which is the cab of the truck, and you got the trailer, which is where your all your equipment's at and your ladders are at. And those take two people to drive: one to operate the back, the steering on it, and then you've got the main driver. But like I said, depending on the size of the truck, depends on the speed that you can go. And it also depends on your apartment's policy about how fast they allow you to go. I know in the state of Kentucky, an emergency vehicle can go 10 miles over the speed limit. Only 10 miles over the speed limit if you're responding to an emergency. So if your speed limit in your community was 30, you could go 40. Or if it was 35, you could go 45. not let me unhook it from there. Alright, let's finish backing this in. Yeah, I know I made a boo-boo. I'm supposed to turn the lights on when backing in. Turn the truck just a little. And I just, you know, talking about a little, I'll turn it about three feet. Yeah, I know, I got this backed in wrong. Yeah, I gotta take this forward. Alright, backing a big truck in this in a building like that is not easy as, it, as you can see. You've gotta get it in the right direction. You know what? That's the reason why I opened the second door back there. Most apartments have two doors uh, for each uh, vehicle. One to pull in, then the other to pull out. Yeah, I know I'm backing completely wrong. I'm driving completely wrong. Usually I can just pull in from, I just pull around and swing in perfectly. Yeah, I know I just wrecked. Yeah, uh, is it turning it? Well, you know it is turning it. Yeah, I know this is poor driving. Terrible driving. How the space is this going to get? Alright, so we can officially go 10-8, we're no longer 10-10 and 10-6, we are back at station ready for next call. If you ever wonder what the 10 codes are for first responders, you can go online and type in uh, 10 codes for firefighters, police officers, EMS worker, EMS personnel, and it'll tell you what it is. All right, this right here is a traditional call. I like, I really like how Neil's put this in here. A traditional call, cat stuck in the tree. This is a real, a really traditional fire department call. All right, so it's code two, so we'll get our truck going. All right. Code two is code one is respond no lights or sirens. 
code twos respond lights only, code three is respond lights and sirens, and code four is everybody's okay. <clears throat> Respond code to either have to respond lights and sirens or I don't run lights and sirens at all because in my state in the state of Kentucky I keep getting told that if you run one you have to run both that's what I, I keep getting told and I looked law up and you if you run lights you have to run sirens that is Kentucky state law for emergency personnel. If you run lights, you have to run uh, sirens as well. <clears throat> but that may be different for every other state. Every state's different on their laws for first responders. <coughs> Excuse me. I only study up on the Kentucky laws for first responders, which states a Kentucky first responder can go 10 miles over the speed limit in, in, while responding to an emergency call. They also have to be running lights and sirens. If you run lights, you either have to run lights and sirens as well, or you don't run lights and sirens at all. So, yeah, that's the Kentucky State Law on First Responders. That's not all of it, though, but it take hours to go over every law for first responders and what I mean in by what I mean by first responders I don't mean by the by one particular group I mean first responders as in fire police and EMS all right there's no way I can get my letter down there and I'm not even going to try it so Stop the truck, go over here and get a ladder and run over there. Rescue. All right, so the kitty is stuck up there. Really? I knew that was going to happen. It happens every single time. It's all about placement. Literally, if you place your ladder wrong and you get up on it, you will eventually fall. Funny how he's walking down the ladder while not while he's not holding on to the ladder. They actually teach you if you're if you're pulling a patient down a ladder, you're supposed to lean in while holding the patient. But I mean, every fire department's different on how they do uh, race stuff like that. And it all depends on how and how and where you're rescuing the person from. If you're rescuing a person from a high area, you're supposed to. If the person's unconscious, you you got. You have, I think it's you have to have one person in front and yeah, one person up front and one person behind. Don't correct me on that, but yeah. No, I mean, don't crack me. I, oh, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Don't uh, quote me on that. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Correct me if I'm wrong on that is what I meant to say. But they, t they teach different techniques on how to rescue a person with a ladder.
Got to use my turn signal. Go on, go. Quit driving like a grandma. Or a grandpa, however you want to say it. That means they're driving slow. And I just took out a sign. Like I said, I'm a, I'm tired and exhausted. I've had a I've had a really long day today. So we'll go ahead and get this truck back to station. And we I need to turn my I just turned my truck off. Really, I just turned my truck off and I stopped in the middle of the road and got out. And my stupid flasher's still on. Sometimes I can get this in one shot. Then again, I can't. Me back up. Vehicle fire. I guess we can take it. I should add some hotel music for waiting on me, waiting on myself to turn this vehicle. When I mean the hotel music, I mean by the elevator music some hotels have. Move over, big red truck coming through. There it goes on the lagging. In certain spots, in certain places, my game will lag. I don't want to park beside the building. Alright, I'm parking my truck right here. And it's staying there. Okay. Okay, I don't know what we're doing. <clears throat> that one person behind the truck's probably gonna get mad and try to ram my vehicle. Okay, so this vehicle, this one specific vehicle right here. And the one specific owner keeps having the same problem. Alright, so it's almost down to 700 gallons of water. I've only got two fires out of five. I've only got three left. Alright, so one fire left. Get close to uh, 500 gallons even. wonder if I get to exactly 500 gallons even putting this fire out. Well, what are the chances? What are the chances, I mean? Throw a punch at you. Get my truck, close my door, open my door, get my truck, make up your mind. Okay, here we go. Right around the building, and I'm taking off that direction. Now, 
No, no, no more calls. No more calls. No. Not talking my truck filled up. Perfect, right there, literally. That's perfect parking. No, no, not water hose, supply hose. I forgot what was in the additional. Oh. Okay. Water supply hose, attach, miss connector. Okay, I've gave it I gave it five seconds, ten seconds at most. Three, two, one, it's done. Really? Can't decide what he wants to do. Okay, so that is going to do it for this episode, folks. Um, again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Like I said uh, in the first part of the video, uh, we're getting close to uh, Season 1 finale. There will be more seasons, and probably the start of Season 2, I'm going to extend the videos. Well, not extend the video length, but extend the video number of videos there is in season. But yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to check back next time. Uh, oh, don't forget to check back. I don't know why I was getting her sick. Next time. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And I'm going to bed. Everybody have a good night.